Our first guest today, one of the greatest linebackers to ever play in a BYU uniform representing San Diego, California, Leon White. Leon, welcome to BYU Sports Nation on a Friday. Thanks for having me, guys. Hey, I tell you what, man, we uh, we just got done talking about the BYU Sports Nation Challenge and now the Cougar Challenge. Did you do anything like that when you were playing for BYU back in the early 80s? Was there any crazy conditioning test? Well, um, this wasn't ran by the school or the team, but we used to run up to the Y. Okay, you ran to the Y, not walk. You ran. Yeah. We ran, yeah. Who who was the yep. fastest guy to the Y back in the day? Well, not too many of us made it. We, uh... <laughs> 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 but uh, Adam Haysbert was one of the one of our mm. faster guys back gotcha. then. He was a wide receiver. Yeah. Adam Haysbert, yeah. who caught the uh, game-winning touchdown pass against Pittsburgh in the season opener in '84, correct? That's right. That's right. Leon, yeah. can you believe it's been 30 years since the national championship season? I really can't. Uh, you know, I 30 years. I've done a lot of things in 30 years, and uh, it's amazing. Every time I talk about it, it's still as exciting now as it was then. So uh, it was a pleasure then, and it's great talking about it now. Leon White, former BYU linebacker from 1981 to 85. You also played baseball. You were a dual sport athlete drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals uh, in the fifth round. When you look back on that national championship team, I've heard guys say, you know, we weren't necessarily the most athletic team, but we were the best team because of the way we played with each other. What what does that mean? How, how was it that you guys were able to string together a national championship run in 1984? Well, I, I definitely agree that uh, we were a team that played together. Uh, most of the guys on the team, they either roommated together or knew each other from high school, and we were a very close-knit team. That's, I think that's what kept us going throughout the year. But I, we had some pretty good athletes, too. I, I, can't, uh, I can't say that we didn't. We just had some guys that, uh, that had speed and strength, and uh, that's, I think that's what uh, made us such a great team. I was looking at the 1983 season yesterday. Noticed, uh, you know, the first game uh, was a four-point loss to Baylor. Then, then BYU wins 11 in a row. Somehow, is unranked going into '84. Yeah, what the heck? Going into that season, Leon, did you guys have a chip on your shoulder uh, because of maybe something like that? Knowing, hey, we've got a really talented team. We could do something special. Yeah, well, we expected it because uh, that was Steve Young's senior year, and. Uh, no one knew about Robbie Bosco, and including they really you guys. Didn't know. Right? Well, <laughs> yeah, we weren't. We had seen him in practice, so we knew he had the skills. But uh, I think everybody really uh, gathered and put together a little, little, little more of a pressurized team to get, to get back at the people that didn't believe in us in the polls. Thirty years since you won the national championship, we, we've established that. What have you been doing after your football career in the, at BYU and in the NFL? What has been the life of Leon White since that time? Well, I'm raising a family. I have two kids. I have a 23-year-old son and a 20-year-old daughter, both in college. Actually, my son just graduated from San Diego State, and he's on to, to his uh, second part of his college career. Uh, my daughter's at Santa Barbara working on her career, and uh, that and – I have a beautiful wife, been married for 26 years, um, working with kids. That's been my, uh, it's been my life for the last 28 years, working with kids, being mentors to kids, uh, being a role model for kids, and you know, doing things that help kids help themselves, really. Leon, you have a role in the uh, 3 Eastern program on Monday, BYU football, great moments then and now. What does that mean to you to be invited to come back on BYU Media Day and be a part of that? Oh, it's an honor. I mean, all the great athletes that have come from BYU, and uh, and I'm I'm just proud to be part of that that organization and that that football program. And you know, the people that have come out of there, you know, they made BYU proud, and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of that. Well, I know at least a couple of your teammates will be in the building on Monday. Trevor Maddich, who now works for ESPN and is a college football analyst, and Robert and I, offensive coordinator for BYU. Speaking of, who is the best offensive lineman on the '84 team, Leon? Leon, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> wow. I, you know, I, I have to say that Robert was the toughest to get around. Way he to answer the, the question. Arm. I applaud that. <laughs> he was, he was uh, 
you know, he was a great athlete, of course, but he had that length, and that, that makes it tough for a linebacker and a defensive lineman to get around. So I, I would have to say Robert was. Okay, so you guys are lining sorry, up sorry, against Trevor. each other today. You line up against Robert and I today. <laughs> are you getting around him and sacking the quarterback? Uh, I think I could, yeah. I'd have to. <laughs> And that's what matters I'd have to say, most. If the money was on the line, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Leon White with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, Leon, when you look back at your career, you played in such a storied time for BYU football with the likes of McMahon, Young, and Bosco. Can you possibly find a favorite game or a favorite moment in that four year span where BYU really was at the peak of uh, its program? Oh, that's, that's easy. Uh, I'd have to say the. The national championship game we played at the Holiday Bowl in '84. That was that was the game for BYU that year, and you know, in BYU's history, really. Um, it was a special moment for me. Uh, that was a game where my dad was able to come and, and watch me play for the last time, and you know, that I'll remember that forever just for that reason. I've heard a story where uh, he was he was uh, ill and on a bed and on the field. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, um, my dad uh, had cancer, and he had found out that he had cancer a little bit before the season started that year, in 84. And he was going through some tough times, and eventually he lost his, his ability to walk. So he was bedridden for about three months during that season and really couldn't come out to see any of the games that were you know, in the area and whatnot. And he was pretty worried about going to the the holiday bowl when we finally made it. So there were some people in the area, uh, a good friend of our family is a nurse in San Diego, and she talked to some people and worked it out to where he could be brought on the field on a gurney and propped up on one of those escalating trucks and watch the game from there. What did that do for you mentally as a player to see your father on the field that way? How... Was that almost like a huge advantage for you, like a shot in the arm? You know, it really was. It, it was so inspiring for me to see, you know, my dad going through all that he was going through with the pain and and everything. And and, and I I knew that if he could do that, you know, I could get through anything. And that that was that was the most inspirational moment I, I've ever had in my career. So it definitely helped me. It gave me the advantage. I think. I, I don't think there was anybody that could have stopped me that day from, from having the game that I did. That's a great story. Leon White's on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, BYU football has changed a little bit uh, the last 30 years. What's kind of the biggest uh, change that you perceive now living in San Diego, being a former player? Well, I, you know, they're getting a lot, a lot more athletes from uh, different parts of the country. You know? you know, some of these kids are coming from Texas now. We're getting a lot of kids from Texas and uh, – there's some great athletes there. We're getting kids from the East Coast, and that's that's making the program a lot better. And you can tell it's 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 really looking like the old BYU. Leon, you are an outstanding former BYU linebacker, a guy that had a nice NFL career, drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals. Jeremy and I were having a discussion yesterday on BYU Sports Nation about. What position group defines BYU? In the 80s, it was the quarterback factory under Lavelle. Uh, perhaps the linebackers were uh, the underappreciated position. But now we think over the past 14 years, since 2000, the linebackers have kind of taken over because they've been so consistently good at BYU. Which position group do you feel like defines BYU football right now? Well, I think the defense is starting to step it up a little bit. Uh, like you said, the linebackers, Keel and of course, Van Oy this year, uh, they're, they're making a name for themselves. And, and I think the linebackers and the defensive side are starting to step it up. Uh, of course, the tight ends, they're going to always be there. We'll always have great tight ends at BYU, and that's, and that's, that's a given. But, yeah, I, I'd have to go with the, the linebackers. Well, Leon, I'm excited to see Van Oy this year. He's, he's going to do some big things. We're looking Absolutely. forward to that as well, yeah. The Detroit Lions. Well, Leon, we appreciate the time. Can't wait to hear more stories from you on uh, BYU football. Great moments then and now, uh, Monday at 3 Eastern time on BYU Football Media. Best of luck to you uh, getting here to promo. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks okay. a lot. We'll